it's Tuesday, it's 4.30, it's... We've got a brand new presenter on the programme. Someone that's a lot prettier and a lot more intelligent than us three, probably. Her name's Susie, she's a chimpanzee. <laughs> now, Susie is three years old, which makes her about the same relative age as you lot. And she's a lot smaller. She weighs about... 15 kilos, and she's about two and a half feet tall, but she is incredibly strong. You don't have a go at feeding her, well, you can come sit next to me, and then you'll be able to get a bit closer to her. Hey, well, look, see if she can get it to come down here. Come on, Susie, come see us. There we are. There you go. Hello, Susie. Oh. Did you? She's nice, isn't she? I know, she's lovely. <laughs> How long has she lived here? Well, she has lived quite a long time, between sort of 25 and 30 years. Quite so a lot, she's isn't just it? at the beginning of her life, yes. She lives in the wild. Are getting, are getting quite rare nowadays. They live in the forests of West and Central Africa, and they live in family groups there, up to between 30 and up to 80 individuals. Not only is Susie the same relative age as you are, she's actually closely related, a kind of close cousin, because she's an ape, and all of us are apes too. Now, she's come along here this afternoon to answer a question from Major Selim, because he wants to know, what's the difference between a monkey and an ape? Well, Martin, both monkeys and apes do in fact belong to the same group. But the most obvious difference is that monkeys, like this capuchin monkey here, have a tail, whereas apes don't. It uses its tail an awful lot for balance and grip. In fact, it's very important. And you can see it's curled here. Well, what it does, it actually curls around smaller branches than this, and it's very, very strong. And it swings around in the trees without falling off, doesn't it? And we can see when chips like Susie climb trees, they use these very strong hands and their rather hand-like feet to grip onto the branches. So what are the other differences? Well, there are a lot more species of monkeys than there are apes. In fact, there are over 80 species which come in all shapes and sizes. Large howlers from South America, baboons from Africa, macaques from the high Japanese Alps, yukaris from the Amazon, proboscis monkeys from Borneo, and so on and so on. But in fact, there are just five species of apes. Gibbons, orangutans, gorillas, chimps, and us. Vision is very important to chimps and all apes, not just for judging distances and to see where they're going, but for communication. It's thought that chimps have as many as 16 different facial expressions that can say things like, go away, come here, watch out, there's danger, or even, I'm happy. The chimps are very sociable, and young chimps spend a long time with their mothers because there's an awful lot to learn about how to be a chimp.